One of the biggest questions we get from customers is, why is my valve cycling? So your valve should never cycle. Okay. So you have the valve in the on position. You go to unlock the cover, which inflate or deflates the seal. So it vacuums that seal up into the cover. This will run for about 30 seconds or more when you're cycling it up on your cover. If it continues to run, then there's another issue. If it sits in cycles, like I'm about to demonstrate, we have a couple things to check. So I'm going to shut the air off. I'm going to connect my tester here. And this is going to simulate a leak in the seal. So if you hear a cycling like this, or anywhere between a little or every so often one like that, this is something we need to check to see if there's a hole in the seal. So what we do is you go ahead and shut the air off to the valve. I take a small chunk of airline to get at least outside the box. I luckily have this one out of the box already. So you're going to take a small chunk of quarter inch airline, connect it into that seal, and go ahead and put your air back to the valve. You'll hear it's running. If you cap it with your thumb, that cycling should stop. So if that cycling stops here at the control box, then it's an issue with something from here on up. It can be a fitting, it can be a hole in the seal, it can be a hole in the airline, a kinked airline, or all the above. So then you would have to go up to the cover itself and disconnect the airline there on the seal and check it. Notice as soon as I pulled my thumb off, it started cycling because it's constantly trying to keep a vacuum on that seal to keep it protected while that cover is moving. Let's go ahead and shut the air off. And let's go and look at the seal and see what we can do at the seal side. Depending on what version of cover you have with us, some of the seals had a 3 8 airline coming from it, so you would need to use a 3 8 to quarter inch compression union to go down to our new style, um, which we send in every seal kit on the replacement seals. We also send a quarter to quarter union. So when we're checking the to see if that seal is leaking, I have a seal here hooked up. Go ahead and turn the air on. You'll hear it cycle till it stops. Now if you look at that seal in the cover, it is vacuumed down. So it is completely recessed in that cover. So check this fitting to see if it's leaking, because if it's leaking, I'll disconnect it here a little bit. And here it's starting to cycle. So it could be the connection issue or there can be damage to the seal. So give her a good push. Make sure that's seated well. Inspect your seal in the cover. Make sure there's no damage anywhere in here. If you see a wear mark, you can go ahead and inflate that seal. And you can see when it's inflated, it's completely extruded out. And you can go ahead and use some soapy water and spray along that tube and see if you can see any air coming from it. If you do, then you got a hole in the seal and the seal needs to be replaced. That's about how long it should take to vacuum out all the air out of that seal. A little longer because it's got a 50 feet of airline as I only have a foot here. But if it continues cycling after that, we have another issue we need to look at. If it stops, then it is working properly. So this is the natural state with no air to that seal. It is always, always keep a seal on that cover.